Good evening. My name is Kweku Andawachi, and I wear a few hats, but today I'm wearing the hat of Chairman of Multimedia, which is the host of tonight's show, The Hard Truth. And tonight we're doing something a little different. Uh, we are interviewing the interviewer. And uh, my guest today in the show is none other than Nana Akusha Kunedu Asante Samos. That's a long name, isn't I know. It? Welcome, Nana. Thank you, Kweku. Good job. Welcome to my show. <laughs> Thank you. Your show. I like that. <laughs> so, Nana Kusia, um, you've been doing the hard truth for a number of years now, yep. a few seasons. Mm. And not a lot of us know a lot about you. How did you get here? Tell us a little bit about the journey from perhaps university to the hard truth. Okay. So, right from school, I went to Pentecost University College. I read Human Resource Management. Right from there, I did my service uh, with NADMO. And I'm here. Um, I had a dream of not So, working. hold on a minute. Hold okay. On a minute. You said you went to Pentecost <laughs> University. Exactly. And what did you study there? Human Resource Management. Okay. Human Resource Management and uh, media sound very far apart. How, how did you get there? It's not so apart. I mean, the human resource is basically getting employees to buy into the idea of the employer and growing the organization. I'm not, I'm not sure I'm doing something different from that. Um, so I am using my expertise to um, help the nation grow uh, by doing what I do. So I, I talk to people who matter in society, who make decisions and um, getting their views on how to grow Ghana. So I'm not sure the human resources so far fetch from, from what I do but, right But now. there must have been a day, some inspiration, an epiphany you had that said, this is exactly what I want to do, or you thought I've you were going always, to do it all, no, I've all, always, all your life? Yes, I've always had um, the passion to, to do this. Well, to, to um, when I was a kid, maybe to be on TV and, and, and to look all cool, but, but growing up, it, it's more than um, being on TV and looking cool. You realize there's so much that needs to be done. You realize that there's so much more you want to offer your nation. And um, why current affairs or why the heart that I feel that um, I have a voice. We all have a voice, but I want my voice to be heard. My voice needs to be heard in um, what I do, so uh, I chose it. But yes, I have had the passion for it. I have dreamt it, and I'm here now, and I'm excited about it. Okay. And, and tell us a little bit about the hard truth. I mean, how many seasons? Uh, just give us a little background. Um, 13, 14 seasons. I, I think we are in our 14th uh, uh, season. Um, the hard truth. You want to know about the hard truth? Please. Well, um, you, you have been on the know. show. <laughs> several times but yes basically to, uh, talking to uh, captains of industries government officials um, getting on them on their toes um, doing what they promised um, um, to be done so you when uh, you are at VRA uh, chief executive of VRA remember I had you on you talked about the power crisis you gave out your version you spoke to your other colleagues great call ECG so yes it's an accountability platform to get you on your toes I'm sure you swan oath to to um, your office to give Ghana a certain quality light. That is what we deserve. So it translates in all other areas in the society. And tell us a little bit uh, more. How how do you feel it has done? Have you has your voice been heard? Do you feel you're making an impact? Partly. And how do you how do you assess that? Partly. Um, well, don't we all want uh, you know more? We want more results. But I would say partly. Recently. Uh, we had the um, chief executive of the, of the Ghana Atomic Energy, he was here. Uh, he talked about how they had low funds uh, for the energy and how, um, well, government makes some allocations for them. They're not getting the money. After the show, he called and said, oh, my goodness. I mean, they just called and they've given us some um, uh, money. And he was full of praise of the hard truth. So, yes, I remember um, when I started in season one, that was quite good. Um, um, uh, when the single span was introduced and uh, the um, military men, I mean the police to be precise and fast as they complain about some allowances. I, I spoke to uh, the then chief executive, uh, Smith Graham, uh, about it and I called him several times and the policeman said, please stop calling him, he's been restored. So I wish that I had more stories like that. But the good news is we have leaders who listen. So I'm sure we will talk about it, talk, 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 one day it will be implemented. So just the idea and the hope that things will get better, it keeps me going. I see. Mm. And I know the hard truth is part of a, a bigger uh, platform, mm. Ina Consult, mm. 
And we'll get to inner consult, but right. we still want to talk about hard truths okay. a little bit. Uh, you must have had some very memorable moments apart from interviewing me. Mm. Um, tell us some of the challenges that maybe difficult interviews, uh, really. So uh, I remember you the first time he came and then we took the first break and then he said, um, I, I had a green dress on. He was like, why did you wear green? I'm like, why not? Yes, I mean, this is a very uh, 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 funny part. But um, the challenge is, um, yes, you, you want to have people on the show. I mean, we need people to, to, to be interviewed. But you call Mr. Minister, I need you on the show. They don't want to come. They tell you that um, if it's a, a five-minute uh, interview on, on phone, I can do it. But this is TV. And I, I get so pained when I see the same ministers go on CNN, uh, even our presidents go outside the country and, and go to uh, BBC and, and CNN and all these other amazing platforms. It's, it's great. But I'm like, so we've, we've had the same encounter. I remember um, uh, uh, former President Mahama, uh, after he won the, um, um, the election, I made several calls and several attempts to have him on the show, and I got promises. Uh, I will come, I will come, and I have a God. I'm, I'm so happy, Mr. President. I'm so uh, waiting for you to be on the show. So it's very difficult getting guests on the show. And it, even when you get them, quick, when you get the guests, sometimes they don't come. So they tell you, I'll be here, we agree, come at 11 o'clock. And then you call them, oh, uh, did I really say 11? Oh, is it today? So these things people don't see the agency in, in some of these things but it really means a lot to us we have the challenge of uh, sponsorship sponsorship is a huge challenge so um people don't understand why uh you put them on the toes and yet you want them to sponsor you but i also say that you promise your people something you need to offer them so in as much as you're trying to offer that by responding to questions you should do that by sponsoring. I should pay a time to multimedia. I should pay my staff. I should do a lot of that too. So yes, um, get some of the guests. Sponsorship mainly, uh, you know, I would so say not, the main It's not all been smooth sailing. My God, no. My goodness, it's, it's never been a good uh, smooth sailing. But it's been good, but it could be better. Do you think uh, you are fairly young? I mean, do you think that people take you seriously as a young lady? Initially, no, but now 100% or 101%, yes. Um, initially, so you, even when I told you about it, when I met you, like, uh, what's your name again? Uh, what do you do again? Yes, yeah, so initially they are, uh, and they look at you and then you want to do the hard truth, really, and then you're a woman, my goodness, and you're young too. Um, so it was a bit of a challenge, but thank God for people like you. Thank God for people like Albert Essien. Thank God for people like our former president, uh, Kofo, who, who understands. And then you tell them to come for interviews. They're like, okay, I want to come. Ghana needs to hear from me and all of that. So it's about time um, we give the younger ones the opportunity. If someone wants to do something, um, people do amazing stuff elsewhere. And then we read about it and we're like, oh, my goodness. But when it comes home, it's something else. So I think that we should give our young ones the opportunity to also um, come out and not focus on people who are there already. So after 13 seasons, 14 seasons, do you, do you have a following? Do you, do you feel that, that impact? How do you measure that impact? I mean, by your following? And what is that following? Um, yes. Yeah, so there is a, a, um, a rating multimedia gifts. When I was at VAS, that one, uh, it, it was done too. They give a certain rating. VAS had um, treated fairly well on VAS, that platform. Multimedia is doing amazingly well. Um, I'm glad to be a part of the multimedia group. And um, yes, um, how do we measure our following? Yes, we have people who comment daily. People who say, oh, we want this person on the show. People who say, oh, um, you should have asked this question. So yes, um, we want more people to, but Kweku, it's very difficult to have everyone follow you when it's on current affairs. People are so much interested in entertainment. And uh, for what I do, it's a weekly program. And um, yes, so they want a bit more of um, entertainment and this is fairly new, but I believe that we have the numbers now. And uh, talking about some sure more people will come, will come to like the heart and it has really come to stay. It has come I to see. stay. I see. I want to talk a little bit about your views of the media industry. Mm. 13, 14 seasons, what's your view? Tell us, uh, and I believe you, you've you been outside, you've uh, been in touch with some international media consultants, mm. I think it's branch consultants. Right, branch consultants. So you have a, a view of the international media. Tell us about 
after those seasons, tell us about your perspective on Ghana media. Uh, we've done amazingly well. We can do better. I think that um, if you want to be a journalist, you owe it to yourself, you owe it to God, you owe it to Ghana to, to be ethical or to stick to the standards of the game, the standard of game. And do you feel that our journalists are ethical? Like, are you, do you feel you're ethical? I, I, I think so. I, I, when I sit in that seat where you are, it's not about me. It's about viewers at home. It's about that person who needs the road fixed. It's about so. It's about having a need in mind and wanting to get answers for that. I think most of our leader uh, journalists are doing that. But again, I mean, you can't say that all of us are bad. I mean, there will be few bad nuts, but it, I mean, the the chunk of it, it's it's, it's right. And um, we have um, I would I would want to mention names, but great people, great journalists are well, doing. You should. I mean, there it. must be some of your, your peers that you admire, they won awards, you think they're doing a good job? It's you know? not about the awards, they win, it's about the impact in making. I, mm -hmm. I listen to the Super Morning Show, I listen to Kwame Sefakai a lot, mm -hmm. um, and now GH1. Um, people that I'll call them my seniors, or people who have been there and are doing um, amazingly well in their field. I think I respect them so much. I mean, my Muslim is amazing, uh, Kokui. I mean, we have a lot to manage her skin. Uh, she's done uh, uh, fairly well too, and um, the list goes on and on. And you are here, and I'm sure you are a journalist now for today. You're you not doing badly yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Um, and, uh, you know, talking about other people, let's mm. talk about you for a minute. Mm. Uh, uh, a lot of people say you don't give your, your, you know, your hosts or your guests uh, time to breathe and you always interrupt them. Not like me, being very polite. I mean, some people say you are rude. Are you rude? Was I rude to you? Quick, quick, tell me. Was I rude to you? I, I think you are fine. Good. It's an act. So you have a director and you're given a script mm -hmm. and it says, this is how I need you to act. So when I sit in that chair, it's not about me anymore. I need certain answers and it requires a certain action. So um, with you, for instance, uh, when I first interviewed you, being dodgy about when the power supply asked you several times, so give us timelines, we're dodging it. And then you eventually came out with the truth and said, oh, around this time and that, even though that wasn't done, I remember very well, but you gave us an idea. So yes, I need to be a certain way act a certain way to get the answers I want. Most people would like to go around the circles and not come forward with it. Mm -hmm. So I ask several times in different ways and then I thank God I, I get married most of the time. But I say it on record, I'm a very nice person. In fact, my husband goes to work and comes back and says, ah, my colleagues say, ah, so does your wife ask a lot of questions at home? No, I'm not. I'm a very loving person. I'm a very uh, free-spirited person. I like to laugh a lot, you know that. And um, rude, no, rude is not in my dictionary at all. It, the job requires a certain action. Yeah, after the hard truth. After the hard truth, I'm a kusia. Um, I'm a wife. I'm a mother. I'm, I'm your friend, Kweku. Yeah. Okay, okay. Tell us a little bit about um, the other things you do. I mean, I'm sure people know about the hard truth, but uh, they don't know anything about inner consult. Uh, what is Ina Consult? Tell us a, a well, bit about I, I, Yes, I, I think um, I'm so passionate about getting things done for my country. So maybe the business side suffering. Not, it's not suffering, but maybe people don't know much about it. Ina Consult uh, produces of the heart. We're into um, production, TV production. We do documentaries. Uh, we do brand management. Um, we do um, property management. And yes, and uh, we are into um, rentals of equipment and all of that, stage lights and uh, all of that, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so you do all of those things, mm -hmm. and, and, and how would you say it's doing compared to the hard truth? The hard truth is just a small part of it. The whole business is doing quite well. We are solid on our brand side. We are solid on our documentary side. Um, we are adding more programs to what we do. By the way, we are the producer of Mr. and Mrs on the um, on Joy Prime, again on your channel. Um, so yes, we are bringing more other programs uh, for the multimedia group and other TV stations. So, so if I call my, uh, my, my producers in multimedia mm. and I say, is Akosia uh, doing well on the hard truth? Take the phone, let's do it now. We'll, we'll, do it <laughs> we'll do it later. Yes, I'm sure. Well, um, 
can it be better? More room for improvement here. Yes. Uh, my, my mom said you, you should leave room for improvement. So in as much as we would like to feel that we've done well, uh, when you look at some of the production, like, oh, we should have done this this way. So yes, we think we can do better. We can do better. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a break for a few minutes, and then we'll be back with The Hard Truth, hosted by yours truly, Chris Bowlesby. So welcome back to uh, this evening's episode of The Hard Truth, hosted by uh, yours truly, Kweko Autry, the chairman of Multimedia, and uh, we have The Hard Truth as one of our shows, so we're, we're, we're taking a very uh, interested look in how it's doing. My guest today is none other than Nana Akosia Konedu Asante Samuels, very long name, um, and we'd like to hear more about what she does and how she does it. So earlier on, we talked a little bit about and the show, the challenges, calling people, they don't come, they forget they have, have uh, uh, an appointment with you. How, how do you pick these people in the first place? Uh, give us an idea into the way you think about the hard truth. Okay, don't we all like to break um, the news? So we like to get the stories and break the news, but I'm not sure how to is interested in that. I am interested in, to, in listening to the plight of the people and what they want, um, partly current issues, trends. Um, so we pick our, our guest based on what's happening, and then um, um, when we hear from people what they expect or what they want to see or what, what things that are not done right. So we have a lot of emails coming in, we have a lot of calls, we have uh, messages on our, our Facebook walls or social media walls telling us we wish you have this person on, on, on the show. So it's based on current uh, so The is very much a current affairs yep. show. You yep. don't do entertainment, uh, you don't do anything like that, just current affairs. It's current affairs. Business, politics. Yes, current affairs, business, mm -hmm. politics, all of that. So, Not so tell me something, uh, what, what would you say has been one of the most important two or three themes of this season for you as a hard truth host? Um, I like the, when we interviewed the... Um, the CEO of Atomic Energy. I personally, I am not so much into that, but I wanted to know, about, know more about the atomic sector. And then um, I also liked the, um, still on energy, when we had the energy minister on coming to ask questions, the deputy energy minister on uh, Mohamed Amin, uh, he needed to clarify issues on uh, certain uh, um, aspects of the energy sector. I think I like energy. I've come to love it so much. Um, so anything on energy it gets me uh, taken. Okay, but in terms of this season, do you feel that uh, energy is one of our big issues? It was a year ago, maybe mm -hmm. two years mm -hmm. ago when we had Dumso, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. not anymore. Mm -hmm. So what, what would you say is not what you're interested in so much as what do you think is top of mind of our society lately? I'm not sure I would say um, I have, um, I think every interview Every guest I bring on comes for a purpose. Right? It's not just um, calling people for calling's sake or you no. Know. Um, everyone comes in um, for a certain need, and when that need is it's addressed, I'm, I'm okay. So I wouldn't say that this is much more important than the other. No. There could be the hard truth about the state of our chieftaincy. Mm -hmm. There could be the hard truth about. Uh, is, it a, is it a priority now? Is it what we are calling for? I mean, can that wait? So mm -hmm. everything or anything, yes, it's important, but I mean, do we need it now? Do we need to talk about it now? Is that what we are calling for? I mean, can it fix our roads? Can it put money in our pockets? Issues that helps the average Ghanaian matters much to me. Okay. Most to me. And then you mentioned uh, another show that uh, Ina Consult does, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mm, Mr. and Mrs. T show. Tell us a little bit about Oh, that. Mr. and Mrs. Um, it's an entertainment, uh, what I call it an entertainment show. No, it's a family show. So it's about you and your wife. Maybe you should come on the show quick with yourself with your wife, Laurie, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. We would like to know how you met. So it's just a fun show uh, about married couples, how they met, how they relate to each other, the family. So it's, it's basically a family show. And it's, it's uh, for what kind of audience? A young audience, a mature audience? It's for, I think it's for everyone because it's fun. You can watch with your kids, um, hear your parents telling you how they met and picking advice if, if you're 
um, interested in getting married can get a few advice from there and things to do, what to look out for when you want to get married. Well, it's not a bad show at all. I see. Mm. Is it doing well? It's doing fairly well, it's doing, but it's been off for some time, but I, I'm sure it's, it's back on very soon. Okay, mm -hmm. I see. You mentioned the sponsorship uh, in the last uh, session. Mm. Talk a little bit about that. EcoBank, I think, uh, have been sponsoring you for some time. Are they still your sponsors? Yes, EcoBank uh, hopefully will come on uh, this year. Um, so we, yes, we are hopeful EcoBank is coming on. We have um, um, LMI, um, Dawa Industrial City, it's on. And uh, Murphy Homes is also on as a sponsor. Um, but uh, we need more sponsors. You people are on my neck. You people like me, multimedia, are on my neck too. You, you know, seem to, to be get... doing well. You seem to have many sponsors or not uh, really? Uh, uh, not really. I mean, um, you can have a lot more mm -hmm. and then that could, that could uh, you know, add up. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we would appeal to all our corporate institutions to... Mm -hmm. so what are they looking for from you? Uh, what, what is a typical sponsor looking for when you approach them? How do you uh, convince them and persuade them that they should sponsor your show? My goodness, I mean, who, who wouldn't want to know the truth? Who wouldn't want to know what Pekwa Watcher says or what uh, Pastor Mahama has to say? Um, so if you want something different, if you want people to stay glued to their seats and live and watch your product, if you want to hear um, how Pekwa Watcher is going to use his uh, his magical um, energy uh, 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 one to change the fortunes of VR. The Heart is a platform for you to sponsor your show. Um, I, I pretty much think that the nine o'clock slot where it sits is a, a pretty much good time. is a prime mm -hmm. uh, time um, slot mm -hmm. that uh, sponsors can um, associate themselves with. And we are very much appreciative to our sponsors on Echo Bank. Um, you have to sign the check very soon. LMI, thank you so much. Uh, Dawa Industrial City, thank you. Murphy Homes, we are grateful to you. And we hope, for, we hope to get more sponsors. Let's talk a little bit more about the path to, to today. Mm. You used to be at uh, Vaisat. Mm. Why, why did you leave? Oh, Vaisat, uh, I was sold to Kwese. Okay. It's now Kwese TV. It's just a food, uh, football channel. Okay. And, um, so they have no interest in, in the current affairs anymore? No, just strictly sports. Mm -hmm. Just strictly sports now. Mm -hmm. And how were you able to convince Multimedia that your show was a good show? Oh, Multimedia has always, they've always eyed the hard truth. So I'm sure they approached me and they said, oh, come on the channel. Maybe you, you were uh, one of our morning show hosts. I did, I did, yes, in 2014. But I you didn't stay. What happened? Were, were you like <laughs> <laughs> no, you loved me. I, I sat in for uh, uh, Mama V. She went on maternity leave and I came to feel uh, mm -hmm. for some few months and I had to leave. I see. Yes, mm -hmm. but, but multimedia has been very welcoming. Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate that a lot. Um, but I think there's much more to be done. Multimedia needs to get hard with more sponsorship. I'll be giving you good content. Uh, I think, yes, um, in as much as we are looking for the sponsorship, multimedia should do more. But, but apart from the money aspect, I think um, the Joy News platform is a great platform for Hartwood, and we appreciate it so much. It's good to hear. It's good to hear. Let's talk a little bit more about the media landscape. You, you said that our journalists are doing well. They're mostly ethical. Um, what would you say are the areas where we could improve? Oh. That's a tricky one. Well, I think, um, aren't we doing well? Yes, we are. What can we improve? I, I think that from the things we hear, um, we have the paid press, but I, I, don't, I don't mind. If you, I said that I'm repeating it again. If you take the heart of a journalist, just adhere to the standards, and we should wake up one morning where Ghana will say, oh, our journalists are doing better and they're reporting relevant news. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we drift away from the very important news to the things that uh, will agitate the public and, and um, we'll get that. dramatic? Sometimes we are, we are a bit dramatic, but again, um, that's just a, a small part of it. Generally, uh, the media landscape is not doing bad at all. You, 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 and, uh, so you think you know, generally we should just keep doing what we're doing and we're on par with the 
media landscape in the UK or not US? at all not at all much work uh, needs to be done so what are those when things? it comes even with the equipment we use the mm -hmm. sets the mm -hmm. it's little things um, yes the personnel people need to be motivated mm -hmm. uh, we talk to some journalists even in multimedia um, they're not excited about how much they are being paid mm -hmm. so being a board chair maybe I'll put that to you uh, most of the um, people down there like no I mean we, we should be paid more uh, because we have a lot more sponsors coming they see a lot more of these ads being played and then yet their lives are not improved so yes it's very important to improve the lives of journalists in Ghana especially um, the camera people those who those who make the things happen when journalists are motivated Kweku, we try we give our best but it's when we are not motivated so much financially that's where we want to take the solid to to a certain line motivate us and then you see what what happens i see i see this is very interesting and um you know i'm still looking to press you for 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 media uh, icons we talked about ghana okay we talked about you mentioned a number of people what about the international mm -hmm. landscape are there journalists that you admire people that you uh, say, wow, I wish I could do what they do. Mm. Anybody in the international media landscape? Uh, Lace Komla Dumo, uh, may he so rest in peace. I admired him so much. Mm -hmm. um, Larry King, amazing. He's old. He's still, he's fantastic. Amam Poor, she is amazing. And uh, Stephen Saka Hartok, he's very good too. Mm -hmm. And uh, my friend uh, in Washington, Shaka Sali, he's mm -hmm. on Voice of America. Mm -hmm. I think he's he's an amazing journalist too. Okay. Yeah, I admire okay. all of them. Okay, mm. I see. Let's talk about something else now. Okay. I'm listening. Um, we, we talked about Ina Consult. Uh, you run a number of shows. Um, did you always want to be an entrepreneur? Yes, yes. Okay, so let me tell you a story. When I worked at NADMO, I did my service with NADMO. And then I worked at the HR office. So in the HR office, as an, as an HR officer, um, I wasn't motivated to go to work. Um, I, I did. I didn't go to work. I had to go because I mean I was in my service, but I wasn't excited going to work. Um, why? Because the work didn't motivate me much. There wasn't much to do. Well, much in the office, but for some reason I felt I could do more. I want to do more for myself. I want to do more for my country and for society. Um, so I said no. I I want to work for myself. That was very difficult, but I think that I'm here now. That's the but most Are you important saying that thing. those of us who choose to work for NADMO and public service? No, no. Do? I'm saying that I I wanted to do more. I I couldn't more see, than what NADMO does. No, I I couldn't see myself working for anyone. I just wanted to be my own boss and to and to make the rules and and to improve things the way I want to improve. And, and clearly, I'm guessing no regrets. No regrets, not at all. Okay. But, uh, you know, you are an entrepreneur, you're a producer, you're a host, you're a, a wife and a mother, mm. I understand. Is it easy to balance all these things? My goodness, my husband is 99.9%. He takes all the time, my baby. Yes, family takes a lot of time. Mm. Um, but um, Kirk, God has given us 24 hours. God used how many days? Six days to create the whole universe and um, he rested on the seventh day. There is a reason why God gave us 24 hours. I think time management is everything. I time myself properly. I have time for my husband, my, my, my family in general, and then my work. I'm not sure any of that suffers. So it's just the way I manage myself. So what is the advice you have for young ladies like you who are on the path you're on? Give them some advice this evening. I, I, uh, well, if you want to work for, I mean, being an entrepreneur and a wife, or what, which advice? Give them any advice. Okay. Advice to be a, how to be a good mother, a good entrepreneur. Oh, my goodness. A good balancer I, of all of the above. <laughs> Give us some Am advice. I a good mother? I think that if you want to be a, a great entrepreneur, I, I just say this thing. You should be passionate about what you do. You should push for it. And then you wait on the grace of God. These are the most important things. I mean, that's what I did. I'm sure it can work for you. But you need to find yourself and be true to what you want to do. Um, if you do things you don't believe in, you realize you drift with time. But if you are very passionate about something, 
you believe in it so much, it drives you to get there, even when it seems impossible. Because you believe in your heart, you know what you believe in, it becomes so easy and then you want to work towards it. So again, be passionate, press on, wait on the grace of God, and I'm sure the sky or above the sky is a limit for you. That sounds uh, very optimistic. I mean, how many hard truth shows are there? There's only one. Mm. So are you telling me that I should just keep being passionate about something even if I don't succeed? Well, you have to be a realist. I'm a realist. And I've said that if you believe in something so much, like I believed in the hard truth. Let me tell you something. When I started the hard truth, I made several calls to be like, I had nothing. I had no equipment, nothing. You see people, um, you make calls, they, they won't mind you. So it's the, the fact that um, someone refuses me makes me happy. I'm like, okay, the next person will accept me. So the fact that someone says no, no, doesn't mean that's the end. So you have to keep on keeping on. And then you have to make sure, unless you don't believe in it, I believe in it so much, I'm here now. Mm -hmm. So believe in it, keep on keeping on, it will happen for you. I see, so just keep on. Keep on. Keep on at it. Yep. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. All right. Um, can, I ask, can I ask you questions? Uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> so multimedia, I want to know. Uh, from where you sit, uh, again, with the salaries of the staff, what, what would you say to that? Are you paying them fairly quickly? Uh, I didn't expect to be uh, interviewed on this show, mm. but uh, I think we do the best we can. Mm. Um, it's a very competitive industry. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that already. And um, we're very mindful of that. Um, I would say in general that um, we can't always compete with some of our uh, competitors and peers, and we know that for a fact. But I think what multimedia tries to do is we offer a career path for our journalists. We offer a lot of training. Um, we offer, uh, hopefully, a sort of guidance into uh, sort of the, the future of their of their professions, and we offer support systems and we offer compensation and performance. So it's not just one thing. Uh, we try and put together a whole infrastructure. Don't you do that for certain uh, grades of, of people? Maybe the, um, not for everyone, but for We try know, and do it for everybody, but, but obviously there's some people, are, our key presenters are clearly you know, people we have to take good care of and they're the people who are most likely to be poached as well. Um, but really, we should try and do it for everybody. I'm mm -hmm. not saying we do, but we try. So uh, you promised in your staff that um, in 2018, they will see increment in their salary. So this is what you agreed with your multimedia friends that uh, you would ask me. No, my goodness, <laughs> I'm sure don't be surprised, of course not. So that's your one question. Yep. Yeah. No, you have to answer that. So in 2018. We're going to do our very best to make our staff happy. And it's an ongoing thing, isn't it? I mean, but, um, I mean, you, you know, I think you're right that um, it would be nice to pay everybody a bit more. Mm. Um, but you can only pay what you can afford, mm. can't you? You can't pay more than that. I mean, I think one of the things, you know, Multimedia celebrated its 20th year a couple of years ago, very much about sustainability, uh, very much about uh, going through the rough times, mm -hmm. uh, as you talked about, um, and, and um, being prudent in the good times so that you can be around for another 20 years. And we, we do see ourselves as a flagship in the industry in terms of good, accurate uh, media, um, which is why we have shows like The Hard Truth on. So, what, so what would to you continue that... Really, quick, really, what would you do without The Hard Truth, really? <laughs> I'm going to have to ask my producer <laughs> that. But that's why we're here this evening, isn't it? So, anyway. But let's, let's talk in general. I mean, we, we've talked about um, your experience. We've talked about advice to young ladies. Um, current affairs is, is obviously something that's important to you. Um, what advice do you have for our politicians? You, you've met a lot of them, you've interviewed a lot of them. You mentioned that you interviewed the former president uh, uh, before, President Kufour. What is your perspective and, 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 and view of our current political landscape as a journalist? Um, we are too political. Okay. We are too party-centered. Um, I'm NDC and the NPP. Um, political is not a bad thing. No, it's Are not. I'm, I'm making a point. Mm -hmm. So, um, Ghana comes first. Okay. 
But at the moment, uh, we wear party colors instead of waving the Ghana flag. That's a problem. In as much as we believe in our parties, in as much as we believe in a certain individual to, to lead Ghana, they call it a promised land. In as much as we have all of these great ideologies of, of our political parties and all of that, the most important thing is to build a nation, the, the other, I mean, other worlds so or other nations will be envious and want to come here and, and that way want to build a certain Ghana. We're not doing badly. All I would tell our politicians is, uh, I, would, I would just say one thing, I would say be true to us. Just be true to us. Um, I take campaign, I used to take it very seriously, especially manifestos. I used to pick all of them and I read page by page. I don't do that anymore. Why? Because we, I believe that it's just all talk. I call it all talk and no action. We're going um, to take a break because we're starting a very interesting conversation about our political leadership. So give us a few minutes and we'll be back with the hard truth. So welcome back to uh, this episode of The Hard Truth, uh, hosted by myself, uh, Kweku Awatri, the chairman of Multimedia. Of course, yeah, <laughs> welcome back to my show. Thank this evening. you. Um, we, we started a very interesting conversation about the political landscape. Uh, yes. We started by yeah. saying that uh, we were too political uh, and uh, maybe polarized, I guess, is something you were saying. Um, what, can we do anything about it? That's just the way things are? Of course, are. no. I mean, yes. What, we, what we, can your show, for instance, do to help uh, educate us, what, change what that? What can we do? Wouldn't, wouldn't that be of interest we, to you? Right. So that's what we do, Kweku. So we talk about the issues. We, we mm -hmm. talk about it. So I was telling you something. I was saying that I've stopped reading um, campaign manifestos. Um, I don't believe in them. That's very sad for our parties. No, I, yes, uh, let me put it in the uh, right I, I don't believe in them. I mean, I don't believe it can, they can achieve it. Um, but uh, again, well, I'm sure they will so, say so that's they my lies? view. Uh, what are you saying? Are they say lies? Again? No, they are not lies. They are mm -hmm. not lies. But I'm saying that um, we are too political. We are not waving the Ghana flag as we're supposed to. What's waving the Ghana flag? Waving the Ghana flag is is doing things to grow the nation. It's, it's making the grassroots happy. It's making the woman at Makola very happy. It's fixing the roads. It's, it's doing these little things mm -hmm. um, until that is done. Until that is done. We always have a system where this party feels I'm better than the other. I think we need to get to a point where who, we say that just like we do, I mean, elsewhere, we stand elsewhere. Um, in other countries where, where there's a president in states, I mean, is a pre he's a president of the nation, not um, a political figure or a political flag bearer or whatever it is. So we need to move away from being political. So how do we do that? If you tell me your manifesto, you're going to do ABC, do it. Mm -hmm. And then we should see evidence. It's not just all talk. Implementation is very important. We do well in, in seeing all these very nice things and rosy things, but when it comes to doing, it's zero. I see. So a lot of talk, not enough action. Well, now we've seen, well, I think um, other governments or previous governments, um, you know, started certain things they promised to do. All I'm saying is we should move, move away from just if it's one over ten, we should do at least eight over ten. There should be visible evidence to the things we promised to do. And do you think that uh, to get to eight over ten, we have what it Takes, I mean, we have what it takes. Mm -hmm. We need to change our attitude. It all has to be mm -hmm. to do with the attitude. Our leaders need to be, uh, be accountable for the people. We ourselves need to be accountable to ourselves. Um, if you see your neighbor doing something bad and he or she has to be reported, you need to report them to whoever. Let's just do the right things. I think um, our corrupt nature mm -hmm. is con consuming us too much, and mm -hmm. it's about time we wake up and say that, well, this is for Ghana. Let's do the right things for Ghana. So we need to think more about the country mm. and less about the party. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, we can think, I mean, the party is great. We bear people from the party. Our presidents are from the political party. Mm -hmm. That is most important. All I'm saying is that if you promise A, B, C, D, E, in fact, do A, B, C, D, Z, do mm -hmm. more than you promise. What about the business landscape? Again, you, as you said, you interview many captains of industry, uh, what is your view uh, of the business sector in Ghana? Uh, yes, uh, from the banking sector. Well, we've had, don't we have several banks in Ghana, over 30 banks in Ghana. Mm -hmm. 
um, with a new um, minimum capital requirement, uh, 400 million and over. Um, most of them say they can, your bank stand big bank, uh, where you are the board chair also. Uh, I think that, <laughs> maybe you don't want people to know you, of course you're the board chair of stand big bank. Are you not? Yes. Good. Um, so yes, I think um, we are doing well um, with the business side, uh, using banking as, as an example. Uh, most of them are still complaining, and most bankers are still complaining about the regulation um, or the regulator. Um, they're talking about the changes here and there. So the you don't think that, I mean, I, I don't, you don't need to, you're not a banking expert, but mm. you have interviewed many people. Mm. You don't think the new regulations are good? Yeah. The uh, increase in the minimum requirements? Well, to some extent it, it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to be a bank, um, you have to have what it takes. Mm -hmm. And if it takes 400 million to be a full bank, I mean, why not? Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is um, if we have different regulations, so today it is this, the next day it is that, and it's not like a um, printed out or it's not spelled out, uh, you know, rightly, uh, the banks are you know, they swing, they come mm -hmm. here, they, they go there. Um, but I, I'm not sure our business or our private business uh, is suffering that much. Maybe we will need some more partnership. What a private business needs to do is to partner with, with government. Most of them say where well, we want to do business with, I mean, off camera, they tell you we want to do business with uh, the government, but um, they don't want to. They want to, they don't want to. But they, I understand their reason. So we need to get to a point where the private sector will come out boldly and say that, oh, when it comes to housing sector, we want to do it. When it comes to uh, whatever it is, we, we want to partner the government. We talk about uh, businesses like Ecobank and mm. banks like Ecobank, even Stanbic. They are continental banks, mm. pan-continental banks. Do you think there's an uh, opportunity for... Uh, shows like The Hard Truth or the media in general? Should we be just focused in Ghana? Is there any value in focusing in the region, West Africa? Do you think viewers would be interested to hear what's happening in Nigeria? Why don't you do a show about things in Nigeria? Would you ever consider that? We've started. We are working on the ground very soon. You see, you, I mean, you see it on your screens uh, very soon. Um, Hard Truth won't be a local champion. It won't be a local show. We are trying to get guests guests make the show popular i mean guests elsewhere uh, in the diaspora in west africa even uh, overseas um to be a, a part of the show yes um for and instance you think people with a, be interested in that of course i mean mm -hmm. it's a global village now we are all connected one way or the other what matters in nigeria matters to us in ghana what matters in the us it's the same that matters to us here so we are very much interested in what happens elsewhere and who's doing what and yes yeah, so um we are doing well, multimedia, um, we are doing well when it comes to that, but we can do better again. Can do better. We can do better. And better means more coverage. More coverage. More be coverage. Be because these things affect all of us mm -hmm. in, in some form or, mm -hmm. or fashion. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to wind down very soon. So we want to talk a little bit more about Akosia. Uh, so do you have time to do anything else? Uh, you know, you're so busy in that consult running all these shows. Mm -hmm. We talked about balance, but, you know... Uh, I have a very boring life. So I come to work, I go, I go to church. Sometimes um, go for some parties and meet up with friends. Uh, the work takes too much of time. Uh, my head of research, uh, Suleiman Mukhtar, you know, we, we do the research to get another research people, but we need a lot of time to get a story, a particular story out. Um, so that alone is a lot of work. Uh, I fellowship with the Church of Pentecost, uh, PRW, so communion branch. The church requires a certain attention from your family, requires a certain attention, your friends too. Having time for myself, what do I do? Read, I love to read. So yes, um, I'm sure I'm fine, but one thing I would love to learn or know how to do, I, I don't know how to dance. I'm planning on having dance class, maybe if, if you can teach me sure some few moves. Can, uh, oh, he is. Away. But, but I've known my husband a long time. He's, I, I suck at it. I, I, it's not possible. I, I can't dance. But I, I pray for the grace to dance. So two left feet. Uh, in <laughs> my the goodness. Oh, my God. I see. I see. <laughs> and um, let's talk a little bit more about uh, the future. Mm. Okay. What, what is next for Hard Truth and also for Ina Consult? Tell us a little bit about what are you hoping for, the next big thing for... The hard truth and also for Ina Consult. 
What should we expect? Mm, there is so much more. Okay, tell us. In your closet or in your quiet moment, you think about, I always tell myself, it's if it was just left with me and my family, I'm sure I would stay home and I wouldn't want to do much or more. Mm -hmm. But you would want to impact people. You have people who look up to you, have you serve as a role model to others. You, you, you want to do things. And in trying to challenge myself, I set targets, high targets for myself. So yes. What should viewers expect right, coming in the next to that, season? Coming to that before coming to your next, I mean, this very question. Can I can I answer the, the I'm whole trying question? to be like you where I interrupt you with every other sentence. <laughs> Let me How finish with that. You're doing amazing, you've done well. You've done so well. But but yes, um I I have a, a bigger picture for inner consult and for the hard truth. Well, mm -hmm. maybe I could even get a young lady to take up, uh, up the hard truth later in future and I'll move on into doing something bigger. Um but um what should we expect um, in the next season? Expect nothing but the truth. Expect good uh, content. Expect guests. I mean, good guests, people you want to see, people you want to hear from. And um, I think the You're the, not going to the think of varying right. the format of your show, doing different things. I mean, this is an innovation, bringing your sometime guest to be the host uh, Yes, I mean, I, I'm enjoying to, today's episode, and uh, you've done amazingly well. Well done. Well done. <laughs> well, thank you for that. But um, what about Ina Consult itself? Mm -hmm. uh, are you producing a show right now, Mr. and Mrs.? Is mm -hmm. that it? Is there more coming? No, 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 no. We, we have, um, this year we have two more shows coming, um, yes, from Ina Consult. So Can we you have, tell us a bit about it? Um, no. Okay. No, just as you tell me, no, we hold on. So I want, but uh, first, second quarter, we should we have should two shows things. from in our consult. And you're going to have more of a regional, or so you said you're going to go to Nigeria and other countries? We'll see. Possibly. We'll see. I see. We'll see. I will have Nigeria come here, whoever come here. Nigeria come here. Mm. Okay. I see. <laughs> that sounds very interesting. And what do you hope for, for Ghana in 2018? What's, what's that? I mean, we're. New Year is, is upon us. I mean, any any particular um, feeling about what should be done or not done or encouraged? I mean, you talk to a lot of different mm. people. Let's start with politics. Mm. What any any desires for politics? Design politics. No, no, no. Any desires for the country? I, uh, I politically. Right. Um, so um, we have a new government. Uh, it's uh, how many months now? Eleven months. Mm -hmm. um, even 12, so January, so 12 months, it's a year now. I, I, I think that one year is enough time. I mean, if you are jogging, you trot, or if you want to go for, you're, you're running in a race, you trot, then you take off. So I think one year, the trotting period, or the warming up, Done the, warming exactly, up. the warming up period is over. Okay. Let's see real results. Yeah, I mean, give us what you promised. I think we need that. We need to move away from, oh, we need time. We just came so, to, to so. we need to see it mm -hmm. from the political front. And mm -hmm. for everyone else, I think we should put Ghana affairs. I've said that a lot. Whatever you do in your small closet. Um, whatever That's what you're, America is doing. America right. is putting America first. Exactly. Put mm -hmm. Ghana first. And then um, I'm sure I'd, when we do that, mm -hmm. why won't we see positive results? We'll see it. Mm -hmm. mm. Tell us, um, sort of along those lines, uh, some of the uh, interesting requests you have gotten from your listeners and viewers as to things you should be doing. Do you have oh, any uh, I had a ones? lot of young ladies saying that, oh, can we get his number? Oh, he's nice to me when I interviewed you. Anytime I interview you, they, they have uh, you know, interesting requests like that. Can I have your number? Can I have his number? He's nice to clean. Yes, but apart from um, the um, the lighter side, yes, people request, they want, especially when an interview is aired, they want it repeated or by popular request to do that. Mm -hmm. Or they say, um, can we have this person on? Can we have that person on? Mm -hmm. So yes, you have viewers or yes. Um, but you haven't had any very memorable or unusual requests beyond get, you know, give me this person's number. I've told you, we, we, we got a number of requests. Um, I'm not talking about <laughs> me. Never Which mind. number? Number of what? Of, yeah. of a guest? That's what I meant. Other requests you've had about what you should do for the show that you found amusing? 
Um, people want the fun side. Okay. So they want to know what you like, okay. especially your favorite food, what you do apart from work. Um, they but want the lighter talk about side. Those kind of things. Oh, we do once Sometimes. in a while. Yes, Sometimes. once in a while we start with that, but we get into business right after. They're really committed to the truth. I know. And nothing but the truth. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. Well, um, any final words for us, the listeners? I'd like to say special thank you uh, to uh, to Non, who's been part of the dream, uh, to my friend Kobna, he's been amazing, he's been the backbone, uh, to my very special friend Ladi Ladi, thank you so much, I appreciate you so much, I love you so much, thank you so much, um, to my my immediate family, my dad, my mom, my siblings, they've been very supportive, I mean, it wasn't an easy journey, but my family has been there, I appreciate you guys so much to my husband he's been very supportive babe thank you so much um to everyone to viewers out there thank you thank you for supporting to enough consult to the staff of inner consult god bless you thank you so much and i would like to use this opportunity to wish everyone in ghana um a happy new year and i hope 2018 will be uh, a better year for all of us I think on that note, I think we're going to say thank you, Akosia. Uh, it's been very interesting to hear about your story and your challenges and the views you have and mm. your desire for the truth. And uh, we hope you continue. Thank you, Kirk. So, You've done amazing. Well done. Post. When are you coming back again? Uh, call me in about a year. <laughs> so, uh, listeners, uh, you've been listening to The Hard Truth. Hosted by yours truly, Kweko Autry, the chair of multimedia. And our guest today was Nana Akusia. Could they do a Santi Sunday? Thank you very much and good night.